Hello everybody, I'm Dan here from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome to another multiplayer collaboration with this time. I am joined with Mr. Mocha Lover. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, so as my second collaboration, well, in recent times, I have already done one in the past. I don't, oh, you know who Penkin is, don't you? Oh, yes. Yes, I did do a playthrough with him. Except from I had audio problems, so that was Not brilliant. A, yeah. <laughs> Um, oh wait, I'm looking at my... Oh yeah, my stuff. So, um, <clears throat> for everyone out there, we've already kind of set up all of our armies, kind of our navies if we have them, yes. and Air Force already, so. As you can tell, I'm being a little uh, belligerent, I guess some would say. Immediately. Mm. And that's okay. Yeah, we're, we're... Yeah, we're going to be interesting. We're going to be going for the alliance between Germany and the Soviets. Maybe one like people are probably wondering what's going on here. Like one's playing, it, so we're having a little war between each other. No, we're we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. I'm I'm playing as A Hilt, A Hilt. You know, and he, I think Dune is playing as you know Joey Stahl. Good old yeah, Joey yeah, Stahl. Because just... sometimes YouTube doesn't like uh, certain names. But that's okay. <sighs> I find it annoying at times, but I don't think I've had any problems with them. Like, I've had Hitler on thumbnails before. Oh, yeah. They've been fine so far. They've been fine so far. I don't want to touch wood. This is when they get, yeah. you know, <laughs> struck down. Yeah, you never know what might happen. Oh. So we'll probably I... um, split up Poland between us, like, pretty normal. Oh, yes. We'll do the, well, we'll be doing the Molotov ribbon drop pack. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it'll be. It'll I've be never good. gone playing with the, uh, you know, Berlin-Moscow alliance before. Never. What's I've the done time? it once for the AI, and it was just <laughs> I think, so boring. I think I tried it once with two of the AI, but immediately they broke the alliance and declared war on me or something. Oh, well, do you know <laughs> I'm not even shocked by that. That's just a typical AI thing yeah. to do. Oh. oh, I can't remember if I put historical AI focuses on. I don't think I did. Well... That's okay. Oh, no. I definitely didn't because the UK is already going for a change in the course. Oh, good. Good. I, I... Communists. They're going to go communists. Watch. Uh, that's, my, that's my guess right now. My, the King's Party. my goal right now is to invade Scotland and see Dunehammer before he's born. <laughs> oh, you're my right. end goal. <laughs> and, wow. Well, just as a friendly hello, you know. Just a friendly yeah. German hello. And maybe eventually get to the United States and the Midwest and... Uh, Say hello to me, where I wasn't even born yet. That's okay. That's <laughs> oh, man. So, oh. I assume you're, you're probably going to keep Joey Stall. You're probably not going to try to go for uh, that there Trotskinator, right? No, I don't, I don't really like... I like getting Trotsky as Mexico, but not as the Soviet oh, yeah. Union. I still have not played as Mexican Trotsky or Trotsky at I... Mexico. Yeah, I've... I've only done it, like, not in a YouTube playthrough. I've done it my own time. Mm -hmm. Well, the US absolutely destroyed me, but that's because I was <laughs> uh, just terrible, really. Oh, yeah. It's not good. Well, playing in some minor nations can be a little bit difficult, you know, so. Yeah, I feel like if you want to take out the US as Mexico, you need to literally go for them as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. But you just don't have the army yourself or the industry for producing a massive army. Oh yeah, especially in the beginning, the United States is pretty darn weak. What they mm -hmm. they have up to maybe forty seven divisions right now, quarter million manpower. Yeah, it's, this it's is the best good, time to take them out, and ten exactly. military factories. Ten. Yeah, ten. That's so pathetic. Oh, United States. Oh, it'd be interesting to oh. see if they keep FDR though. It will be. <laughs> they sp and you know how? Oh, I said the UK was going to go communist, and they are indeed oh, communist. Good. Good. Excellent. Now I wonder if the, uh, the United States is going to stay as or stay with FDR. They specifically don't like Germany. What have, what have I done to you, FDR? What have I done? Yeah, so we, we've just started the game. <laughs> yeah, he does, does not. Uh, like we Germany. might have had a few bad issues within the past two years, but there's no reason for you to dislike me. I haven't made any Americans angry. If anything, I've got good trade deals or you know good relations with people like Henry Ford. What, what's going on, FDR? Exactly. <laughs> Oh. Just being difficult. Oh, yeah. Giovanni Messi. 
Chat, I'm kind of waiting to see if France is going to end up flipping communist as well. Oh, We're just yeah. going to have a communist allies. It's like, all right, that makes sense. That would be interesting. And to see, oh, they are going communist. I remember I tried this just a little bit, and Canada broke free in that one gameplay I was playing. Ah, Mackenzie King. Oh, Maybe, oh man, you got it right with the UK going communist. But could France go, yeah. how often do you see France go fascist? Not very often. Yeah, almost Total. never. I hope they kind of yeah. go fascist. But they're probably going to go support the status quo and maybe do the little entente. Ugh. Well, yeah, I think you may be right with the little entente. Since Britain's going communist, they'll be like, there's no point going for the Allies. Because the, the Dominions are all going to break free as well, probably. That's true. Yeah, whenever I played as a communist United Kingdom, almost no one stays with you in your faction. I got like, what, Jamaica maybe, and Trinidad and Tobago. Oh. <laughs> yeah, cause that's just the key members of the Allies right there. The strongest members of the Commonwealth. Yeah, we should, we'll be like, Brits over here, just waiting for them to come over. Oh, they're going to have to go for the uh, breakup, the, like the revisit the colonial policy. So we're going to see a lot of random nations popping up. Oh man, that's. Whenever oh. I see that and you see all these puppets or these new countries coming out, I'm thinking, oh, that lag, that hoi for lag. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's, it's, gonna, it's really gonna help us when we're trying to run at speed four. <laughs> exactly. It'll be glorious. Speed two, let's go. We'll finally get the 1939 after probably about three hours. Oh. 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 Research. Oh, I forgot how long the Great Purge takes. Oh, oh you're doing the Great Purge immediately? That's only yeah. I just thought it's only like well, it's... three fifths of an entire year. <laughs> yeah, just just you know, just three fifths. I'm gonna go ahead and kill Finland as well right now. Good idea. Let's well, see, I, I always I always do that to Soviets because like rather than wait until what is it like 19 40? to do the lessons yeah. of war. 39, yeah. Yeah, you just need to do a war after you've completed the Great Purge. It's like, well, Finland's there. You've not got many divisions. <laughs> They're here Easy. for a reason. <laughs> yeah, it's free real estate. <laughs> Let's see. Two army XP. Oh, I'll be honest. I have not played, like, vanilla Hoi 4 in such a long time, really. Like an actual campaign. I've oh. been playing. I'm oh. almost like an Old World Blues channel at the moment. Like, yeah, that's all I play. That. Like, you're just jumping through all of them. I'm like, man, calm down with the old world blues. There's so many nations. It's so good. It's such a good mod. Especially with the, uh, the mod compilation. It adds so many unique, you know, trees to so many different countries. It's just, oh, so good. So good. Because oh, I've seen you playing as uh, the Brotherhood of Mars. I was like, oh, yes, I have to do that as well. It looks well fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not doing so great in it, to be fair. I think you've done a lot better than I did. Well, well sometimes I, like, I think like for one episode, I had to like go back to an earlier save to actually you know make sure I was doing okay. I think just one oh. episode, but yeah, I guess from oh. the outset, I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to play as the Brotherhood of Mars or something. I don't know. Because I remember I, I did the Civil War. The Civil War was insane. Like, it oh, was, like, that. I had, like, two provinces while Kaiser had everything else. Ugh. Crazy. Oh, man. That does not... <laughs> that was after I think I killed the NCR, too. <laughs> See, I haven't even killed the NCR yet. They're just hella thick. They've killed the Brotherhood of Steel, and I'm just like, well, that's great. It's glorious. They're just... And they are getting stacks of the visions. I'm like, well, I'm just gonna go and take over Mexico first. Then I'll deal with you later. Oh man, I I hate fighting through Mexico so much. Mexico. Oh, there's so many crossings. <laughs> so so many. many. It's like even defending against some of them. It's like, why have you got so many crossings? Just like, just have one or two. So there's bottlenecks, not like ten of them. Uh, I, I I just try to avoid avoid Mexico as much as possible. Yeah. Well, I'm not really gonna do it in that. I always seem to. The only oh, reason I, the only reason why I shot. go to Mexico, is if they declare war on me. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, well, I took advantage of the, the Republic of Rio Grande to declare war on like everybody. Ah. All their neighbors. So I was like, do you know what? I want some of that land as well. And I decided just to kill all the wee guys after they fought the war because it was quite uh, costly for them. Oh yeah. So I was like, ah yeah. yes, I'll just swoop on in. Now I own half of Mexico. It's like, yep, great. Oh, horrible. So right now you've been playing 
Uh, you've been trying to do some achievement runs, I see. Yes, that's me revisiting vanilla because I was like, you know what? Do you know, I'm, I'm going to try and get some achievements because I'm, I didn't have many before I started doing them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they're good fun. Although, well, playing with... Because you can play with non-historical AI focuses on now for achievements. Oh, huh, okay. Which which I found... But I had them off for um, from a Soviet one. Okay. And Ger Germany and the Axis just got so stacked with divisions. They had like almost a thousand divisions between them all. Uh. And I, I played till 1948 until World War II was over. I won it and got the achievement. Nice. But it was just the puppet Germany. And I was like, this could be an easier achievement to like get here. But nope. It took me six hours to record. Uh, like, I've done a bulk recording from 1940 to 1940. I was like, I'll sit down for six hours and just get this done. And I right. think it would take all my days. I've been so bored. Yeah, I so think bored. Ever since like patch 1.7, Germany's been generally pretty strong to contend with. They just. They, they go so mental. Like. They just chill for so long, and then all of a sudden they've got so many divisions just blitzing half of Europe. And there comes the German war machine. <sighs> Almost unstoppable. Basically, it's unstoppable. I just don't know how they do it. It's just, okay, I yeah, just... It's quite good fun. I can see some achievements being really boring. Oh, I'm yeah. going to try and do the majority of them, but like Free Egypt's one I'm not looking forward to. Oh, man. What do, you, what do you have to do for that? I haven't really done any achievements for uh, Hoi 4 at all. Um, well, you have to go from, like, you have to go to the UK and release them as a puppet, and then you've got to play as them and get them through the whole autonomy thing and get free, and that's the achievement. Oh, that's not terrible, but, yeah, it doesn't it, sound really interesting. Does, yeah, it doesn't sound difficult. You don't have a focus tree or anything. You're just going to be sitting yeah. there like, oh, yeah, just going to build up. Well, what do you even do? Just kind of sit there for a while and give you the UK yeah, like, some guns. Yeah, and just try and stop Italy from killing you, you know, just... Just normal Egyptian things. Yeah, and I'm... That's... Oh, the, thir the 30 minutes of hell, is that the achievement? On the PDX? Huh. It's that Poland one, like, you've got to survive mm. and kill, like, a certain number of Germans. I'm like, oh, no. And the 1939 start as well. It's like, oh, oh great, can't even make my division. Oh, man. Just oh. wing it. Yeah, there's a reason why I don't go for achievements in Hoi 4, or really any, too many games. Because <laughs> some of the achievements are okay, you know, they're fine, they're fine. But mm -hmm. some of them are like, do I want to sit here for like six hours and try this, and then yeah, fail, and then try it again, just in case? <laughs> yeah, it's just, some of them are just so much work. And especially, like, if you don't put historical AI focuses on, you're mm -hmm. in for a hell of a ride. Because the AI will just app uh, like you and just beat down your morale to the point of, I cannot be bothered, why am I doing this? Oh. Yeah, I haven't played as Poland in a, such a long time. I did a series like two years ago, when I was oh, really perhaps. starting so out. I've not touched it since. Once was enough, <laughs> never. Once was enough. I, I, I kind of hope they do you know a little bit more in-depth Polish tree. This was like the first tree they made like after the vanilla trees, I think. Mm -hmm. It was part of the yeah, DLC. It was, it was. It's not bad, just... It's, it's not 2016 focus trees, you know? It's like Italy's focus tree or France's focus tree. Actually, oh, it, don't even get me started on Italy's. It is the worst thing ever. <laughs> it's just so... Like, doing that Italy achievement run was it's, so boring. <laughs> it's almost like you can fit all the focuses on one page. You don't even have to yeah, move like, the mouse around too much. Yeah, it's it's so close, actually. I think you're just missing, like, maybe like, two focuses, really. Uh, oh, Paradox. Well, yeah, see, some things I wish, like, could they have not maybe waited, like, another year and just put some better focus trees in? No. Oh, but what but, conflict in China? But money now. Money now. I know. Money. Money. Lucrative money. Better be careful what we say. They could be watching. That's true. That's <laughs> we love thing. Paradox. We love this game. That's I why love we've Paradox. Sent... I bought every single game they ever made. Into this game. I buy How deals... many hours have you How many... spent on this? Oh. Recently, I I've got to be like at least eighteen hundred hours now, probably. Oh, oh gosh, I'm up into the three thousand. Holy cow, three thousand? Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, over three thousand. You're just getting warmed up. There, let's go for more. Where is it? If I can get the actual. Yeah, three thousand and forty-nine hours. Not sad at all. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um. 
by the time Hoi 5 comes out, it'll probably be at five, at least 5,000. <laughs> yeah, or even more than that. Double. Uh, give me just, uh, just give me one moment. Uh, my cat is clawing the carpet outside my room. Uh, oh, okay. uh, ah, there goes the, the purges. Oh, and research real quick. Uh, oh, yeah, give me just one moment. Bink. Come on. No, we have to be yeah. now. Yeah, Bink. All right. Have we got a cat joining us now? All right, my bad. Uh, and my cat Binky, he's being he's being special right now. Yeah, he's, he's, I can hear him meowing. <laughs> yeah, I throw him on my bed and he starts biting my clothes. He's a special guy. Oh, all right, I love I love animals that bite clothes. It's great. month. Awesome. Cool. So, we, hey, we've already made it to August uh, 2nd, August 3rd. Yeah, we're not doing too badly. I as long as we don't get halfway. too involved into wars, we're doing okay. Yeah, we'll be smooth sailing for like the next, well, until the real war starts, then we're going to have some... A little slower. <laughs> Are you looking forward to the, the next DLC then? Oh, I'm so looking forward to the next DLC. Mm. I'm really excited for the Spanish stuff. Like the, the total oh, yes. of like seven different trees or uh, focuses. Oh, trees. Oh. It's insane. Oh, yes, I defeat the Japanese. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Oh. Of course. Oh. Oh, wait. Ching Chai. Oh, Japan's going to have some trouble in Manchuria. Ooh. Wow, that was fast. Oh, they went the empire as well. All right, okay. okay. Oh man, every time I try to when the Wicking the Tiger came out, I tried to play as the, either like Ching China or regular China. I could not win as Ching China. Oh my goodness. I've done it twice, twice, and the rest of the times I've been absolutely destroyed. Like with regular China, that can be, you know, a little challenging from time to time because you might not have enough mm -hmm. divisions or anything. But yeah, Ching China. Oh, you got to time everything just right. Yeah, because, like, I don't know about you, but I try and get to the, like, autonomy level that prevents war against China. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then I don't have to fight the Japanese and the Chinese, it's just the Japanese. Mm hmm Okay, Which, yeah. It, it does help, but still, it's, it's, it's troublesome. Oh, pooey. What could have been? What could have been? <laughs> I still need to do that achievement, actually, the Ching one. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. And that's why I'm not going for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna probably spend hours trying to do it. I'm gonna, I'll watch your videos on how to do that, and maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's if I do it like in a, like a decent <laughs> strategy. It might just be all over the place. Completely ad lib. I'll just be tearing my hair out doing it and everything. I'll just be com mental breakdowns. Glorious. Oh, well, it looks like Spain is having a good time. Uh, the nationalists seem like they are winning maybe a little bit. They're taking oh, they're pretty even, actually. Who to recruit? Hmm? What? I didn't hear what you said. Oh, no, no, sorry. I said they're pretty even in casualties oh, right yeah. now. It's pretty yeah, yeah. even civil war. It's because there's no German Panzers over there. Oh, Italians. Wow, they're not even helping. They're just getting oh. rights. Well, they're still at war with Ethiopia. Oh, oh, <coughs> wait, what? <clears throat> oh my days. That Zababa has still not fallen. Nope. How many men have they lost? Please let it be 5k. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Considering Ethiopians only lost 56k. They're doing decent. Well done. Well done Pretty much. Proud. Let's see. Oh, my air... The airbase was taken away. Darn. Oh, I should really actually go ahead and sort some templates out. So, yeah. Um, with this Germany run, usually I focus extremely hard on, like, tanks and stuff. I People have always su suggested that you focus very hard, at least on fighters... Usually, whenever I'm playing single player, I almost kind of... I put a few factories on fighters, but other than that, I just kind of forget about them. Well, 
I didn't even used to use an Air Force until like a couple of months ago. People were like, why do for? Oh, maybe I should start trying. So I'm still not great at using them. <laughs> with so with this um, game, I'm going to try to use a lot more of an Air Force, a lot, a lot of Air Force, <laughs> minimal army, well much more minimal army but a lot of air force a lot of naval bombers tactical bombers no close air support just because i love the range the range on those tactical bombers so good at least compared See, to close I, air support I, I, oh, the yeah, there they go of course you're right Eight. Yes, a little entente. why are they doing a little entente i haven't done anything oh, well, except just to find somebody but other than that you know whatever Wait, who, who are you? Oh, you're going after the Netherlands. All right, nice. Just, just a swamp Germans. Just rightful German clay. Yeah, well, I'm going to be going to f war with Finland in thirty-nine days. <sighs> it's never been twentieth, and I will be at war with seventeenth. Actually, you know what? We might want to time the declaration of war at the same time. Uh, world tension shouldn't go up by that much, though. Just because. No. Well, we are only three days apart. Yeah. Right. Wait, well, wait. Well, I don't think the UK is really going to go, ah, oh, let's guarantee people right now because they're doing their whole communist thing. I don't know how it works again. I'm sure they've got decisions to take to increase their... Yeah, they have the little... Dis yeah, the decisions to increase trade factor approval and stuff like yeah. that. It's actually not super easy. It's not challenging, really, to become communist as the UK. But you got to kind of know what you're doing, because they only get so much communist influence. Mm -hmm. I feel like the communist way is so much easier than doing the fascist way. Oh, I don't think I've done the fascist way yet. Well, the fascist one, if you're not like if your stability goes under fifty percent, you go into a civil war. Oh, huh. And it's like, ah, oh, I don't like civil wars. Yeah, I try to avoid civil wars unless I'm trying to do, like, the German Kaiserreich or something. Yeah, so. like, if it's if it's necessary, then I'll do it. But otherwise, no, let's just, just stay have, away from We have bigger goals in mind than doing it's it. It's like, so. I don't want a massive setback where half my divisions decide. Pretty much. Uh, let's see, infantry, throw you over there. There you go. Mm, what should I use my political power on? Hmm. I don't just, know. I More mean, political power, that's right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is Germany right now. You get 1.58 political power with another... Uh, with another advisor. Oh, Binky. Alright, so... Hmm. Hmm. Well, it looks like yeah, the Nationalists are still... In every vanilla game, it's always the Nationalists just start just throwing their men at the Communists. And in the end, the, the Communists start throwing their men at the Nationalists. Pretty much in every Civil War run. Yeah, it just all, all, it's always the same. Nothing really interesting. In my game... Alright, so I got my justification ready, but like... In all games, it's like the Nationalists throw their men first and run out of manpower completely, and then the Communists mm -hmm. do the same, and then they run out of manpower as well. And then they're just until there. there's like no <laughs> more <Yeah>, Spaniards. <laughs> right, I'm I'm good to declare war when you are. Cool. Uh, let's see, boys, you ready to go? You ready to go? Let's get some of those air boys ready to go as well. Uh, oh, yep, I should probably do that. I don't think the Finns have that many planes. The Dutch, they like to be pacifists, but we'll teach them a lesson as to why not to be pacifists. Alright, I'm good to go whenever. <laughs> Alright, I am going now. I'm off. Beautiful. And, yeah, I like how it says Germany at war again, but oh. nothing about the Soviets. It's like, oh, that's They don't care different. about the Soviets. The Soviets have done no wrong. Yeah, we're just taking rightful... Soviet clan, really? Just writing a wrong of history's past. Yes, it's my. Let me see. I doubt I can do this. But we'll see what happens. Nope. That blew me over. There you go. You know what? I'll do that. Cool. Yeah, the Dutch are pretty easy. And I assume the Finns shouldn't be too bad, but you probably have a debuff. Oh, there goes Ethiopia. Um, yeah, I'm still suffering from officers purged, and they have, um, if I'm saying it right, Sisu, which has given them their oh, some yeah. 
half oh, the bonus. Oh, twenty percent. Yeah, like I'm sure they've got two like military staff as well that bring up the recovery rate by like another like fifteen percent. Oh. Oh man. So. But uh, they're out of manpower already, so. That's always yeah, good. You, you have yeah, a no, gonna... slight advantage in manpower. Yeah, just, you know, just a whole million just there, just waiting. Just Soviet things, you know. Yeah, just... Oh, come on, we can drive the Helsinki tank. Come on. Ah, good. I actually researched a lot. For catapult. Um, do uh, it's thing. time to say goodbye to officers purged in 70 days. Nice. Nice, that'll be gone by, you know, March. Of 37, pretty good going. Not bad, very good. Uh, at this rate, me trying to use a navy is going to be so slow that by the I will kill off the Dutch by the time my ships actually come out of harbor. Oh, wait, I forgot to get an admiral. Oh, um, boom. Boim. And, of course, Carl. Carl Dernitz. Do that. Good, good. Ah, oh, that fuel. Who needs fuel with Germany? And Rotterdam. Oh, yes. Definitely not needed. Oh, did you ever attempt feedbacks? Uh, <laughs> no oil challenge. Oh, I've not. What is that? Oh, goodness. Oh, it's like, um, you had some rules. It was a while ago, but I attempted it on stream. I was like, and I've done it, but then he went and done a better time than what I had. Because huh. I, bet, I bet his time, and then he went and done a much better one. I'm like, oh, well, it was a small victory for me. Ah. <laughs> it was like, you, you could... You couldn't import any oil or something. I can't even oh, really remember man. the rules. But there was a really set... Like, you couldn't even build, like, synthetic refineries either, I think, or something. Wow. That's... So was, that's kind yeah. of a... That's one heck of a challenge. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, like, I didn't... I had tanks with cavalry, which I just never do. Oh. Tanks with... Oh, that sounds nasty. It was not great. That's and this was back when I was using no planes as well, and he, he popped in the stream because I'd said on his stream... And then he came and seen it, and he was like, "Nay, nee planes." I'm like, "Nope, I'm a noob." Oh man, that's oh, no bueno, just no bueno, man. That's... Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was all right. It wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It was much easier. Well, not much easier, but it was easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, let's see. Uh, I got enough tungsten. I'm gonna need a little bit of rubber. Finland wanted the piece out. No, oh. I'm taking you all. <laughs> Oh, the fins. You split them in two. Oh, well. Really only one, because I'm sure not a lot of people live in northern Finland. A huh? hundred thousand people, no. maybe. Yeah. Oh, are they going to capitulate soon? Oh, they're so close. Get the Vasa, please. Let's see. So, world tensions are 34%. We can't go to war with anybody unless we want to go to... Unless I want to go to war with France immediately. And I'm not... Oh. No, no point. Not Apologies. Really... That's fine. Um, I'm not really interested in going to war with anyone too early yet now japan has gone down a line so they might not go to war with china or it might take a lot longer for them to go to war with china actually yeah or they well saying that they might just justify them like randomly and just go to war with them that's true yeah got the, the whole non-aggression pact thing down this way oh no they could probably come for me oh, oh. well so that's what's down that part of the tree, isn't that... it? But if Ching China goes free, then you know what? You can have my support. I'll send you my tank. <laughs> I'll send him an Air Force, maybe. So what is your goal with the Soviet Union? Just, like, Asia? Just Soviet Asia? Um, I don't know. Maybe just take back my European lands that they lost. Um, Iran. Then I guess maybe take Iran and Afghanistan. Maybe even Iraq. Just get even more oil. <laughs> Uh, maybe even Turkey as well, if I'm feeling like, you know, just taking control of the sure. Bosphorus train. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Well, what's your plan? Just to take over all of Western Europe? Pretty much. Just, you know, just European things. Just try to yeah, kill just... each other as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, where do I put my tanks? I'm not going to go to war with anybody right now. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just uh, going to chill and build up a thing. So, do you plan on getting any puppets? Or do you just take everything? What's your... Uh, Thoughts. I am. Um, I usually just take land that I have claims on. I know I've not just. I've kind of just ruined that by taking all of Finland. <laughs> but I wanted. I wanted all of Finland. But like Romania, if I was to, I would pop it there and would just take like Bukovina and Bessarabia. Okay. 
from them. Maybe we can arrange that. <laughs> yes, maybe. That's right, so we have the little oh, aunt. Oh. aunt. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the... Or the French Entente Alliance. Hmm, I don't think they're going to do very well at all. <laughs> they never do well, France, actually. I never see a game of an absolutely amazing. Uh, I have a little bit of army XP right now. Let's go ahead and throw on a little bit of artillery on these bad boys. Oh, nope. gosh, I have a lot of army experience right now. Recon. Good stuff. And I have five more army XP. Oh, tanks. I'm going to water down my tanks just a little bit in the beginning to prepare them for future tank stuff. Yes. Oh, yeah. very important future tank stuff. Like, go. I need to research Marines. Oh, see, that's one thing I never really research Marines. Yeah, usually I don't. Or if I do, I just make a few divisions. It just. Yeah. Infantry are pretty good overall. Marines, they help with, you know, river crossings mm -hmm. and naval invasions, but. Mm -hmm. Ever since the day of. Uh, Ever since they nerfed the amount yeah, of special forces, forces you could have. Eh, I remember back I in the know, day. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, 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 what are you going to say? Sorry. Oh, just back in the day, I remember you with, what was it? Like, with your field marshal, you could get um, 44 combat width divisions and then have like 10% smaller uh, combat width because of the field marshal. So your divisions would be like extra strong. Ah, uh, the old days of Hoi 4. Old days. Old days. Gosh, I can remember the old days when I just used to use mountaineers and not actually touch infantry. Exactly. Just used to be mountaineers. Yeah. That was that was good times. Make some space marines. Oh, they were. Oh, the good time. Gosh, that's a while ago now, actually. Yeah. It's almost Ooh. 2020. Uh, and yeah, that's probably be about what? Well, the game will be what four four years old. Next year will be four years old. I think it released yeah, in so... the summer. Yes, May is it not? Or June? June? Oh no, whatever. Oh, what's the anniversary date of D Day? June six. That's, June six. I think. Is that not when it came out? I have a funny feeling that's when it came out. I, I know. I think I was pretty sure it was summer. Pretty sure it was summer. Mm -hmm. So and it's around June time. I'll be June. Yeah, time. June ish. Actually, I could just check my phone right now while I'm just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, oh. Oops. Cool. Just looking at a few emails. Uh, let's see, Messerschmitt's... Oh, it was the 6th of June. It was the 6th of June. Sounds like a bloody day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I remember when Hoi 4 came out, I was interested. I didn't really know much about it, though. Um, Hoi 4, I remember I played Hoi 3 just a little bit back in the day. Yeah, I it was the exact same. I just played a wee bit. I never got... I didn't get Hoi 4 until, like, maybe six months? Maybe an entire year, like in 2017. Oh, gosh. Like, it was a while for me. My dad got it, and I just started playing it. I was like, "All right, yes, I'm playing this," and then just started playing every single nation, <laughs> minor, major, and then eventually I was like, "Do you know what?" After I think it was like basically almost a year after it came out, I was like, "Do you know what? I'm gonna start making YouTube videos on it." <laughs> and then here we are today. Yeah. So was Hoi Four the first Hoi game you played, or? Um, I briefly touched Hoi Three, but I wasn't that great, at it and I wasn't really in. You know, like, I didn't really love it that much. Mm -hmm. Never got into it. But as soon as I started playing this, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm having fun. Like, my second campaign was Germany, and I just had so much fun. Oh, yeah. We'll not talk about my first, because I chose Switzerland. Germany with the starting divisions that they had. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, yeah. Was dying. Man, back in the day, I started with Hoi 2, I think. The end days of Hoi 2. Because it was fairly yeah. cheap on Steam. But... Yeah. I played so much, and it's probably too much, of uh, Darkest Hour, Hearts of Iron game. That was my jam. Holy cow. There, that was the reason why I was fairly asocial in high school. I played so much yeah. Darkest Hour. It was so good. It was a fan-made, you know, Hearts of Iron game. Ugh. I'm going to bring it back to the channel in 2020 sometime. Oh, nice. I think my dad actually really likes like that i'm sure he's mentioned it before so good and it was weird because they had all like different starting dates like almost every year had its own starting date 
and they had like an oh, alternate damn. scenario where everyone in the world would be like equally powerful or had equal amount of manpower and factories and they just go to war with everybody like africa was all developed uh asia was all developed south america and it, it was just like kind of like a battle royale to a degree mm. oh there goes mexico well it, it is here in my uh, steam library darkest hour of hearts of iron game yeah he's got 178 hours in it i've not touched it <laughs> It's not a lot of hours. I thought it was gonna be more, but yeah. most of it, he definitely enjoyed it. That that's oh, that game was the first thing I've done on this channel back in like 2013 on Damn. a terrible laptop. After that campaign, I just kind of gave up on it. But ah, uh. <laughs> well, I mean, after just like uploading YouTube. Other than that, oh right, right. So. I thought you were just like I'm just I'm just done. I'm just done with Hoy. Just no more. Just, oh, no, it's just terrible. It's just been it. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do next? Oh, the Hindenburg gets it. Oh, I probably want to do the oh. Rhineland. Do I want to accept this treaty? Of course I do. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, of course I do. I do not want the, the sign to beckon on me. Ah, uh, this treaty will be a stepping stone to the future. Double nice. bonus for armor. Nice. Very nice. Oh, gosh. I should have waited and for that because I got the armor tech boost and I've just went ahead and started. Ah. Uh of time before it so hopefully i'll get in the next one you probably will you probably which will. would be terrible actually <laughs> oh gosh we're over we're over the 30 minutes <laughs> oh 30 minutes oh boy oh we're over this this is a reoccurring thing now of my channel let's go over the 30 minute time oh man i've been so bad with that lately oh 40 minutes is like oh. my new jam oh well if, if it's a really good episode and you're enjoying it like even if it's just a really good enjoyable playthrough it just happens all the time you just completely forget about the time yeah usually i i have to keep a, a stopwatch on my phone to make sure i keep track you know, of time i might actually start that just for a wee timer go off it's like oh yep timed. i'm having too right, much fun now so <laughs> let's pause that there cool. so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed if you did then i'm gonna do a tanky senpai here and say subscribe and like if yeah, the video if you enjoyed and if you haven't subscribed then do it blah 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 we'll do tech senpai um and yes mr mocha lover here did just get to 1k subs the other day so oh, yeah. anybody who hasn't subscribed oops that is watching my channel then go ahead and subscribe to him because he also makes kind of very similar kind of style videos to me well exactly the same really as playthroughs um so yeah go and check him out so yeah cheer bye then now